when you're out running on your home trail, it's exploring in a way because you can either explore yourself, the pace you're running in, or just uh, put your mind into a different mood when you're running. Like it's, it's exploring, but it's very personal. My name is Emily Forsberg. I have been living in the northern part of Norway. Uh, now I live in my van, I could say. <laughs> um, I'm a mountain runner and a ski mountaineer. I think I always have been running. You know, when you're a kid, you're always out playing and you, you want to explore new areas. Like, how, that's how you are as a kid, I think. And I just kept doing that. I can't imagine a life without running and I think that's why I'm I'm kind of taking care of the running because I don't want to push myself too hard in training and racing because then I I'm really afraid that I will lose the joy and my inspiration for running. I think people might need to push their, themselves maybe to feel alive and you can push yourself in different kind of directions which uh, some can be more healthy, some can be less healthy, you know, you can make yourself work 20 hours a day and I think it's something we need because if you look evolutionary, we sometimes we needed to push ourselves and we don't have that pressure now because everything is so convenient and uh, I think it's really something in our nature. I don't see the obstacles and the challenges in the mountains because I'm I'm a very comfortable person. I don't push myself too much over my boundaries. I'm pretty much all the time inside my comfort zone and work there and then like push the boundaries from inside. I'm really not taking the step outside too fast. I've learned many lessons outside and I think uh, I learned so much about myself in there and I've taken them to other exploring parts and be more confident in those situations. It's, uh, yeah, a lesson I learned is that you can, you can always survive and you can always do so much more than you think.